Hi everyone! It's not summer without these strawberry shortcake ice cream bars and I'm sure you feel the same way if you clicked on this video. Thank you! Have a nice day! So today we are making this strawberry shortcake crunch cheesecake. Be sure to keep on watching to make yourself a slice with some extra whipped cream and a strawberry on top. For this buttery no-bake crust, we are using Lorna Dune shortbread cookies. This is a full 10 ounce package combined with 2 tablespoons of brown sugar in the food processor until the crumbs are finely crushed. Just like that. Next, pour in 5 tablespoons of melted butter and blend. You may need to stop occasionally to break up any clumps that are fighting in there. Place that mixture into a greased springform pan and break up the crumbs with your fingers. You want to bring an even amount of crust from the center to the edges. Press with the cup to tightly pack it into the bottom and halfway up the sides. And now our crust is all done, no baking needed, just refrigerate for 30 minutes. These crunchies are exactly like the ones that are on top of the Good Humor ice cream bars. This is the only part that requires minimal baking. So let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees and crush up 14 golden Oreos using the same method as we did for the crust. When they are finely crushed, mix in 4 tablespoons of melted butter and evenly divide the crunchies into 2 bowls. One bowl is going to be strawberry flavored by mixing in 4 tablespoons of strawberry jello powder and the other bowl will be left plain for vanilla. Transfer them into separate pans that are greased and lined with parchment paper then pop them in the oven. The vanilla are ready after 3-4 to four minutes and the strawberry will need 7 minutes. To finish them up, use a fork to spread them out and they are looking so good, you will absolutely love how they taste on the cheesecake. This filling is so heavenly with the perfect amount of sweetness. Start by beating 3 8 ounce packages of softened cream cheese until light and fluffy. Then incorporate a quarter cup of white sugar and a quarter cup of powdered sugar. The best part about this no-bake recipe is there is no eggs, so the texture is light like air compared to other cheesecakes. For the wet ingredients, mix in a quarter cup of sour cream and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And to give it a refreshing flavor, add half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Guys, if you're excited to see the final result of this cheesecake, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications to see more delicious recipes every week. After the mixture is smooth, we need to whip some cream. Pour 3 quarters a cup of heavy cream into a separate chilled bowl and whip until peaks begin to form. Once that's ready, fold into the filling a little bit at a time and remove your crust from the fridge. Your goal is to evenly spread the filling while completely covering the top and being gentle not to disrupt the crumbs around the edges. Take your crunchies and sprinkle an even combination on top and lightly press them in. Now it's ready to refrigerate for 24 hours. Let's fast forward right before eating, it's time to decorate. We are going to make some stabilized whipped cream by beating 1 cup of heavy cream with 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar until you start to see peaks. After that, add in 2 tablespoons of piping gel and half a teaspoon of clear vanilla extract. Beat that all together until stiff peaks form. To decorate, I'm using a 1M tip to make swirls around the edges of the cake. The piping gel is key to holding the pretty shape of the whipped cream for days without it melting into mush. Just a little secret for you. Top with fresh strawberries and this epic strawberry shortcake crunch cheesecake is complete. Make sure to treat yourself with a nice generous slice and you'll wish you tried it sooner. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.